sweet. Okay, two three sixteenths spaces, right? We added them behind the lower arms. What, what would that do to the steering? Well, this wheel, pretty straight. This wheel, pretty towed in. Hey. No biggie. Look at all the play we got in the rods. Take a quarter off each end and turn it in. Yeah, there's plenty there too. Whew. My brakes are on. My tires are... Now this one ain't clean, but it's getting there. Finally got the correct bolts. Um, 7 16 by 3 inches long. Two stores to find those. But we're together, man. Hard lines are ran. Um, literally, the front end's done. Um, what's left? Radiator back on, everything in place. Uh, pulleys, yeah, pulleys. Fill it with water. Air in the airbags. Sway bar. I might want to do that before I uh, start putting other things together because the sway bar is going to end up going through the side of the radiator. Not a big deal. Uh, it'd be like a put the radiator in, mark it, assemble it, take it apart, punch the holes. A lot of fun. It's not too hot out today. I did shut my fan off so you could hear me. But we've got steering. I'm going to adjust these rods in right now. See, they're only hand tight little crank of that tube and it'll all pull together I got a ton of pictures a ton of pictures it's nice huh? look at this beautiful rim over here what that I use? oil and a soft cloth that's it wipes the dust off, doesn't scratch anything although we do need some armor all huh? white letters out baby all right, I'll see if I do any more. I don't know. I got this whole week off. Vacation, but we're taking off to Vermont to do uh, something. Camping, whatever. Whatever. Got to take a break, you know, even from the car. Okay, let's do a quick roundabout. Here's the brakes. The drum brakes have the whole new uh, brakes, uh, brake spring kit, clips, all that stuff in it. Both sides, I just finished doing that. Nice to know everything's brand new in there. Instead of messing with this junk in the barrel, that's actually that's the bag from it. Uh, full links tacked, ready to go. I gotta pull the rear end out, finish weld this, the pipes on the uh, the brackets on the rear end. Uh, a couple other things on the rear end, but nothing crazy. Cross member, all done. What a couple weeks ago, nice and clean. Uh, front brakes ready to roll. Um, the only one that wasn't done was this one. Dawn came over not even a half hour ago and flared it out for me. But it's just in there hand tight. But looks really good. Crossing line as you've seen. Goes over to the other side. The jumping hose. Goes from the I beam to the passenger side motor mount. Um, tires are on and they spin. That one's a little rough because it's tight. Just got to be cleaned, this one. This one I cleaned. She hasn't had a bath, she's just dusty. Looks real good. Probably been doing that all day, huh? Coolers in. Sway bar. I gotta think about that. I gotta find a way to connect this to that. I have the original part here somewhere. Uh, it's right there. This is the original 31 arm. Now, this is actually the passenger side. The idea was this one in here 
and that connected to the shock or and a spring steel one side or the other. The original bracket I made a stupid flap on it, it didn't work out. So we'll mess with that, make something else. It's nothing crazy. But uh, I'm gonna put this front end on the ground, it's time. I can leave the back end in the air for now. I don't have the tires on yet, I will. Um, this is pretty cool too. I don't know if I ever shown you this. My steering shaft, if I could put it on, is actually, let me put it together for you. You go on all these websites and you can buy parts. This um, steering shaft is from a Jeep Laredo. It's 19 spline down there with a U joint, and it's double what they call double D up here for you know your average GM column. And it is rubber bush, so there's a little bit of cushioning. Um, I have four of them. I, every time I see one of these things, I keep it. There's another one right here. There's one right there. You can you can cut it, shorten it down to nothing. Instead of paying 60, 80, 100, 120 for a steering shaft, I mean, why not make one? It's it's there. It chops real easy. You can, it can, I think it can be like three and a half feet long. Down to, I think the minimum is 12 inches. I think mine is about 12 inches right now. Um, I mean, this is a 71 Nova manual steering box. Fits right on. The steering shaft came from like an 86, 89... Uh, Jeep Laredo, I think it was an 89, but looking good. I clean the floor, as you can see, I had crap everywhere. I got that piece of wood off with all the tools. Floor is nice and clean. That's nice. Everything is a brand new. My brake line jumps to the frame. Um, I think I'm gonna go east with that go around the back and come up to the front or I don't want to jump the frame or go all the way out to the front that's kind of stupid um, yeah there's nothing there maybe I could put a brace here for it I don't know seems stupid to go well, I can go back and around all the way up to the junction block which is probably going to be about right there underneath the firewall um, I need one of those adjustable ones because you got to regulate the pressure to the real wheels, it'll lock up like a rock. What a nice rear end. Remember what a piece of crap that thing was when I got it? A little bit of money, a lot of bit of time. All cleaned up. I mean, brand new. You, you wouldn't even looked at this thing when I got it. You would have went, oh, that thing's junk. Throw it out. Let's go back a little bit. I'll show you the pictures of that thing. That was a piece of crap. And I put my one of a kind 8.8 Ford cast aluminum rear cover from my buddy Hank. This thing is friggin' awesome. Nobody's gonna go, where the hell did you get that? I didn't get it anywhere. Hank made it. But hey, great day, having fun. Nice and clean garage. Have a good night.